Did you know that storks don't have vocal cords and instead of singing, they clatter their beaks? That's just one of the many surprising facts about storks you'll discover in this film. A stork is more than just a bird from fairy tales and stories. It's a true traveler that flies thousands of kilometers every year to return to its nest in the spring. It's no coincidence that we celebrate Stork Day on May 31st. It's the perfect occasion to learn about their lives, where they come from, how they care for their young, and why they're so important to our natural environment. What does a stork look like? A stork is a bird that's hard to mistake for any other. It has white feathers, black wings, and long red legs and beak. An adult can stand up to a meter tall with a wingspan reaching two meters, almost the length of a bed. The red color of their legs and beak comes partly from their diet, especially from crustaceans. When stork chicks are born, they are less colorful. Their legs and beaks are gray, turning red as they grow. Where do they come from and why do they leave? Storks spend the winter in Africa. They leave Europe in late summer or early autumn when the weather cools, but not because they fear the cold. Storks are very hardy. They migrate because winter brings a shortage of food. They don't stay in Africa forever either. When the dry season arrives and food becomes scarce, they head back north, returning to Europe. The Stork's Journey What storks do is an incredible feat. They fly up to 10,000 kilometers. They leave Africa in early February and reach Europe around mid-March. The flight takes about six weeks. Storks only fly during the day for eight to ten hours. They use warm air currents to soar high and conserve energy. They avoid flying over water, preferring to stay over land. Storks from Western Europe fly via Gibraltar, while those from Central and Eastern Europe fly over the Bosphorus Strait. How do they know where to go? Their migration route is encoded in their genes. They also use the sun like a compass. Younger birds learn the route by flying with adults. A good memory and familiarity with landscapes, like rivers and mountains, also help them navigate. Stork Homes When storks return, they look for their old nests, often the same ones as in previous years. They build nests on rooftops, chimneys, and most commonly, on poles. A stork pair lays three to six eggs. For over a month, both parents take turns incubating them. After hatching, the chicks stay in the nest for two months. The parents bring them water and gently feed them straight into their open beaks. What do storks eat and how do they live? Storks are carnivorous birds. They forage in wet meadows, fields and near ditches. Their favorite food includes insects, fish, mice, small birds, snakes, and moles. Contrary to what many fairy tales say, frogs are not their favorite treat. You'll often see a stork standing on one leg. This helps it rest and keep the other leg warm, tucked into its feathers. Their legs function like stilts. They don't tire easily because the weight is supported by bones, not muscles. A stork will only lift its leg when it feels safe. Storks in danger. The stork's journey is not without risks. In some countries, despite bans, people still hunt them. Another danger is string left behind in fields. Young storks can get entangled and die. That's why it's worth helping simply by picking up loose string during a walk in the meadow. A small act that can save a stork's life. Gatherings and the journey back south. Before they leave, storks gather in so-called stork parliaments. They meet in large groups in fields and meadows. 
They feed together for a few days to gain strength for the long journey. First to depart are adult storks without chicks. Then the younger birds follow, and finally, the parents who took care of the nestlings the longest. The return trip to Africa is usually faster, taking about 26 days. What else should you know? The white stork has a lesser known cousin, the black stork. It's a forest dwelling bird, very shy and secretive. Rarely seen by people, it avoids human company. Storks are closely monitored by scientists. They are fitted with rings and GPS trackers to better understand their routes and protect them during migration. These studies are conducted by ornithologists, bird experts. Storks in tradition and belief. Storks have always lived close to humans, which is why there are many superstitions and stories about them. In many European countries, it was believed that if a stork built a nest on your house, it would bring good luck to the residents. And if the first stork you see in spring is flying, a fortunate year awaits. But if it's standing on a field or in a nest, luck might come a bit later. Storks, birds with a mission. Even though they can't speak, Storks send us an important message. Their return each spring shows us that the world is waking up again. It's a story about coming home, caring and perseverance. Every stork that returns to its nest reminds us that nature needs our attention and that we are part of it. That's why we should protect these amazing birds, not just on May 31st, but every single day.